All right, gamers, here we go. It's time for Delta Traveler Section 3 Part 2. If you haven't watched the, uh, the, the game is finally out now. If you haven't watched the, the first half of it, uh, I, I did it a long while ago back on, uh, God, it's been like a year now, almost. But, uh, we'll be continuing from the save point I have on that file. So we're not going to be playing through the intro again because we've already seen it. <laughs> Uh, also, if I sound weird, that's because I am, uh, shaking off an illness at the moment, so. Alright. We got, uh, let's see, I think this is my Geno save. We'll do that second, so let's do Pacifist first. Okay, so somebody let me in the know. Hey friend. Hello there, young travelers. I am not your enemy, but an average mole. I don't believe that we've met in the previous world, but I followed you here anyway. I would like to add a little bit of flavor to your experience. Or would you prefer advice? I'm happy to help regardless. Okay. This one was made for me, baby. Eggplant. Ah, we're purple now. Life is good. seemingly clever spaghetti trap stands before you, tempting you to consume it. Oh, that's cool. The timer actually ticks up in real time. This is, uh, kind of eerie. You can barely see into the darkness. Can you see anything, Chris? Uh, nope. Can't see shit. Should probably grab that torch then. Hell, I'd probably say to grab it even if you can see. It's really dark. Give me that shit. Wait, hold on. The hell is a snow drake doing down here? Hey, what are you doing? The hell was that? This isn't funny, dude. Susie, I don't think that's a normal snow drake. Huh? Wait, what? Feral drake. Oh my gosh. Ooh, look at those head twitches. Ooh, that's creepy. Alright, what have we got here? Let's see. Being in the woods for so long drove it crazy. All oh, right, Unity game. <laughs> That's gonna take a moment to get used to again. Uh, tell it a joke. You make a bad ice pun, nothing happens. Yo, we got Undyne Spears at home. <laughs> Undyne Spear Circle at home. Uh, let's heckle it. You booed Feral Drake. Nothing happens. Okay. Uh, let's laugh. You laugh at Feral Drake. Feral Drake became tired. Holy! Whoa! 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 Okay. All right. He's sleepy. He's a sleepy sheepy. Hey, wake up! W what? Was that all a dream? Nope, you were trying to eat us. So what the hell is the deal? Okay, me and a few friends came here to look for Snowy. But everyone started to lose their minds, including me. Oh yeah, Snowy, have you seen Snowy? Well, uh, I think he's up the ladder near some cardboard thing. Really? Excuse me. The hell was that? Do you think the forest is putting them into a feral state? Seems like it. Uh, I guess we should keep an eye out for that. Wait, what's this? Oh, I love that sprite. It's an H. I'm pretty sure it's part of a ladder, Susie. Oh. Um, I guess I'll hold on to it. Let's get going. Alright, let me 
uh, save here. Knock, knock, knock. Who's there? You better not be here to terrorize us again, bonehead. Whoa, 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 chill, dude. I've never even met you before. Can you see? Is that you? Wait, like the restaurant? Who told you my name? Huh? Oh, I've just known for a while. <coughs> ah, whatever. They all seem like you're not here to kill us anyway. Why don't you all help yourselves inside? Once you put up that torch. Welcome inside. Much nicer than the dark forest, huh? Yeah. A bit cramped, though. Why do you guys even live down here? Well, we all lived in Snowden Town a long time ago. It wasn't the best place, given how the underground is, uh... Eh, but it was nice enough. Oh, I, I read that with the wrong inflection. That's on me. That was until the two brothers snapped one day. They started going on a murderous rampage. I know killing isn't too uncommon here, but this was just a massacre. Got to the point where we had to hide ourselves somewhere to avoid them. I still run my shop there to keep up on supplies. Well, up until recently. What happened? A bunch of wild snowdrakes attacked me on my way down here a week ago. Broke the ladder into pieces. I got most of the pieces, but I'm still missing a few of them. Left my axe at the shop, too. I've been stuck here ever since, trying to find them before I try and tempt fate. Well, we happened to get one of them just now. Apparently, one of the snowdrakes was holding onto it. Really? That sounds wonderful, actually. I've never been able to get near him, let alone put a dent into him. Would you mind helping me find the pieces? Well, uh, it's the only way we can go forward. We're trying to get to Hotland. Well, then we need to get those pieces. But I imagine that might be a harrowing task. Say, I just noticed. Is that you, Miss Noel? Huh? Well, yeah. You've grown up a lot faster than I expected. Tell you what, since you're all helping me out, I'll let you all stay the night. Heck, I insist you take a rest right now before you get going. Um, I guess we can. I think we only have two bedrooms available to sleep in. Two of y'all might need to share a bed. <laughs> I know what you are. Chris, you should probably take the single bed. What? But I don't want to share a bed. Do you want Chris to steal all the blankets? Okay, fine. I'll share with Noelle. Ah, finally, we get to sleep in this bed that I was instructed not to sleep in last time. <laughs> the History of the Kingdom by Gerson Boom. You turn to a random page. After his declaration of war on the humans, the queen tried to overthrow the king. This was the only time the royal guard was given a direct order of violence by the king. The queen was banished to the ruins to the anguish of his majesty. With such violent end to the ch their children and the queen's coup attempt, the kingdom fell into a deep depression. Once that persists, once one that persists to this very day, King Asgore continues to try his best to bring hope back to his people. But with how things have been for the good part of a century or so, who's to say it will? You decide to climb into the bed. <laughs> Boy, howdy. Would sure be an inconvenient if I got ambushed by... It feels like I'm drifting without my input. Doing things against my will. Everyone thinks it's just you, Chris. What did I do to deserve this? Am I just cursed? Why do I deserve to be cursed with the removal of my agency? What about me from all those other, or what about the me from all these other worlds? Do they also suffer this curse? Is this just my fate? Canon event. I want to end it so badly. All I want to do... ...is rip it out... ...and just... Ooh.
Breathe. Susie. Noel. Asriel. Someone. Anyone. Please. Help. Me. Please. I don't want to die alone. Chris? We've been knocking for like five minutes already. Don't make us come in there. Give them some time, Susie. They're really bad at waking up. I've been waiting. If you don't come out here, we're leaving without you. Oh, Chris is sad. Good morning, Krusty Crew! <laughs> Chris? Yeesh, dude. What happened to you? Looks like you had one hell of a nightmare. Well, do you want to talk about it or something? Aww! Chris? I don't do hugs? I mean, I like Noelle looking at Susie like, come on. Um, I guess it's fine. Uh. There. There, there. Aww. Dude, it's gonna be fine. Quit tearing up, or I'm gonna start crying, too. And you don't want to see me cry. Chris, we should probably take a minute to talk about this. An outburst like this, it's not like you. Um, sure, we can give you a minute. We can talk about this downstairs if you really want to. Just don't take forever again, okay? Chris, what you doing? No, don't put me under the bed, please. Not under the pillow, no! Let me out, no! Ah! Chris, damn it, the tooth fairy's gonna take me! <laughs> Ooh, nice eye. Excellent. Truly excellent. We finally have time for a heart to heart. What? <laughs> okay, G Man, fucking relax. <laughs> so, Shay, I am sure it is exhausting to be tethered to Chris. Why don't I offer you an opportunity to escape? I shall allow you to craft a vessel. Let us begin. Which head do you prefer? Uh-oh. Hey, I've seen this one before. Bolt now. <laughs> uh... I like this one. Which torso do you prefer? Uh, you know we gotta go the with the sleeves covering up the wrist, like halfway like this, like full fucking. <laughs> Let's go. Which legs do you prefer? Gaster, these are all the same except this one's in reverse, and it looks this one just looks weird. If you pick this one, you're weird. I I love how they have four identical legs, and then this one is just reversed. This is your body. Why is the soul changing? It's because the soul is moving to the, the cursor selections. Sure. Sounds good. Excellent. Truly excellent. Now, 
Let us shape its mind as your own. Yeesh, dude. That sounds like hell. It appears we have run out of time. We shall continue this very, very soon. Oh, what? <laughs> Chris, you really should have told us sooner. We could have helped out. Or tried to do something, at least. Chris, don't bother worrying about, I don't know, standing still, I guess? We're not going to think it's weird that you're uh, a little robotic. Well, it's a little weird, but you get it. We'll get through this together, Chris. I hope we can at least try to keep it under control. Thanks, guys. Don't mention it, dude. Anyway, we should probably get moving. All that talk about destabilization from earlier is bugging me. We need to find Alfie's before that gets worse. Let's get going. Well, after you grab your thing. Yeah. See you two downstairs. I love this sprite. That is, I love that sprite so much. <laughs> All right, Chris. See you in a bit. Oh, hey, I have my eye now. Yo, we got eye, Chris. Let's go. Perfectly normal bed. Eye, Chris is here. Let's go. Chris can finally see. the fridge open it hey just because we let y'all sleep under upstairs doesn't mean you can take what you want yeah chris why don't we just get something from uh what should we call him blue sands <laughs> blue sands pretty sure he's got some food i wish me and little cinnamon here could take walks more often we used to do it occasionally but now it's too dangerous to go out anymore at least we're safe <laughs> Y'all need some guidance first? We got a few ideas where the last three are. I think there might be one to the southwest in a long dead end. Try not to get cornered by a bunch of them. There's another in a shorter dead end near the center. I've always seen it guarded by a snowdrake, so you either have to lure it away or try to kill it. There's also another one near a cliff southeast of here, but that's a strange one. It's never guarded by anything, but every time I'm brave enough to grab it, it's gone. It might be a trap, so I'd say grab that one last. What if the great door vanishes, Chris? Let's not. All right, let's roll. Oh, uh, I need this. <laughs> well, I don't need that. You can skip it. It's just, uh, I like seeing. <laughs> oh, hey. Susie got a ladder piece. Hello, friend. So you just have to laugh at it, or does it just get tired? What do the s &N actions do? Okay, so it's just three acts. It doesn't matter what they are. Okay, cool. Ba, ba, da, ba, ba. Go to sleep. Yo, Wolfle, thank you for the raid, friend. Chris, I remember you are Delta Travelers. That's so true. No, not in action. Sleep nest. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Okay. And the final one. I think this might be the last one. Let's go see QC and we find any, need to find any more. <gasps> oh no. What the hell is going on out there? Is that? Chris? Start running. 
Oh god. Not Sans. Oh, oh no. Not that way. Wrong way. Wrong way. Go up. Oh god. Uh, I picked a bad time to be low on HP. Haha, <laughs> get it, bad time. Oh. Found ya. Back the hell away, freak. <laughs> nah. I've got you right where I want you. <laughs> what do you want from us? You know. Every time I've held on to hope, it's just eroded away. It's about time you felt what I felt. That doesn't answer the question, dumbass. Like I tell you about how I felt. You should know. Hey, rabbit lady, open the door! She's not gonna help. No one will. You can't even help yourselves against me. You sure you want to try us? Dimension travelers that can take on a giant mech. Susie, don't! You're really getting my expectations up. But I don't believe you. Now enough talking. Time to die. Gotcha! Get the hell away from them, you damn- Whoa! Yo, he just went- He, he hit him with the fucking- pew. He hit him with a Goku instant transmission. QC, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, but he got away. Feels like every time I get a chance to kill him, he runs away. So much for his kill or be killed rhetoric. Uh, thanks for saving us, but uh, we got like four of those ladder parts now. Do you know if we need to get more? Oh, right. I believe that's all of them. I'm carrying the ones I found right now, so let's go ahead and rebuild the ladder. Meet me over at the dead end to the east of here. Des descriptive. I'm sure she means there's a cliff we can build the ladder to. I guess. But, uh, what about that whole I'll keep him on a leash, or I'll keep a leash on him bit? Maybe, um... Oh, Sans left after the letter attack. Maybe he ran away while Papyrus was distracted. They're, they'll both run away after I beat him up. Now let's go. Give me that torch, bitch. Okay, so to the east of here. To the east. Oh, hey. Hey, y'all brought a torch. Now let's go ahead and start building that ladder and get the hell out of here. Oh, I see. It's behind us, isn't it? Sup. Damn it. I'm sorry to ask us of y'all, but can y'all take, take care of this last snow drake? I can take the torch from you if it'll make things easier. I guess so. We got no real choice anyway. Here we go. Susie shrug. <laughs> Agree. Wait, these are different. Oh, this is a feral chill drake instead of snow drake. Looks like this one will take a little bit more. It'll take a little bit of elbow grease to beat this one. This one not tired yet. Clash, maybe. You tell Feral Drake it's all wrong. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Well, that's not good. Bro's just got infinite stamina cheat code working. Why is this just not working? You make a bad ice pun, nothing happens. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Chris, try something else. <laughs> well, if actions don't cut it, then... Hey, stop! Childrake, 
What's happening over here? I heard roaring from really far away. What's wrong with you? Chili, calm down. I heard everything. I'm okay. Come on, dude, it's me, Snowy. Don't you remember me? Remember, 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 remember. I can speak English really well, guys. God, what the hell have I been doing for this long? That haze trust, like, drove me crazy. But you're fine now, right? Hell yeah, Snowy. Let's ditch this forest already. <laughs> Ooh. Felt that one in my bones. Wow, I didn't expect that. Anyway, I finally got the ladder built, so I'm getting out of here. Again, thank y'all so, uh, so much for helping us out. It's our pleasure, QC. And hey, that means we can get going too. So, let's get going. Oh, hey, I can see now. <laughs> You've escaped the pits of the forest and returned to the underground wasteland above. You're filled with the power of unchanging circumstances. So, like, how is the forest down there safer than whatever's over here? It looks like the bridge over there is broken. And a ton of spikes, too. Bet it was the bridge. <laughs> Use the box? Oh, shit, I forgot I have stuff in the box. <laughs> well, I got, like, no healing items. Can you use the bandage as a healing item? Yeah, okay, you can. I guess I'll take those. Turn every X into... Into what? Love it when the answer is just gone. Well, why don't we find out ourselves? Whatever, don't have a choice. Stop right there. Step to the side, all of you. We've heard multiple, report, multiple reports of a human wandering around with a couple of monsters. Have you three seen this human? Uh... Nope. I uh, have no idea what a human looks like. Are you sure? You three still smell strange. Well, uh... We just, um... We just helped the rabbit family escape from the deep forest. We had to f fight a few wild s s snow drakes down there, so maybe it's that? Yeah, that makes sense. Get back to town, all y'all. It's dangerous out here, especially with a human prowling around. Okay, got it. Humans, dangerous? That's a little presumptuous, don't you think? And how come they didn't recognize Chris as a human? Chris, remember what your mom said? Or what your mom from the purple cave thing said? They wanted to, like, take your soul or whatever? I mean, I don't know. What do you think is up? I agree with them. <laughs> Just as confused as you. Something happened to him. So, like, what do you think? That they went to war or something? I wonder if in this underground world, humans and monsters were much more violent towards one another. Which is a little worrying given what we know about human power. Wait, what? Just some boring history stuff. <laughs> huh? Then let's stop wasting time. Let's get going. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what is this? There is a very tempting big red button on the tree. Press it. You resisted the urge to press the button. <coughs> oh, hello there. You. Why the hell weren't you keeping an eye on Sans? What are you talking about? We got ambushed by him, dumbass. What? That's ridiculous. He's been diligently listening to me talk right to the su- I thought he was being unusually quiet. You think? Where could he- Oh. He's over there at the next puzzle. So he did get away before I could get over there. Apologies for that. I do know that he is at the puzzle ahead. I can even see him from here. So you are all safe for him from now. 
But, ah, uh, there is another puzzle here for you to solve. I was going to make it into the shape of my face, but Sans wanted it to be more intimidating, so I made it into his face instead. But I am unsure of the solution. Feel free to stand by while I figure it out. You totally should not push any cool red buttons that are just idly laying about. <laughs> Don't push the red button, Chris. I have to. I have to know. <laughs> Chris, why did you push that? You can get up, right? Chris? That it gets cut off. That's so good. <laughs> oh, that's outstanding. It's even better the second time. God, if I had a if I had a nickel for every single Undertale fan game that's come out in the past two weeks where there's something that you could press to instantly kill yourself, I'd have two nickels. But it's strange that it happened twice. Would you like a hint? Well, that's too bad for you because I am still unsure of the solution myself. Well, hurry it up. Well, I'm trying. Turn every X into an O, then press the switch. Stupid sign. We found that out ourselves. Susie, I don't think you didn't know that the one before was destroyed. Sounds like a bad friend if you ask me. I'm smart. So you've triumphed over the puzzle. And it did not explode either. Impressive. But the next puzzle shall not be so safe. I hope you're skilled at following sets of rules. <laughs> he just walks over it. Why can't we climb over those rocks, Chris? That'd make this puzzle a lot easier. Easy for you, I think. Chris is pretty short. Oh, right. Wait, what if we stretch them to make them taller? Actually, nah, that wouldn't work with humans. Let's go. It works with monster. What were you doing there, bud? I said, hey, 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 what were you doing there, buddy? <laughs> Sorry, I had to do it one more time. It's too good. <laughs> <laughs> I just love the tree that just. What's up? Oh, you guys are enemies. <laughs> I like kind of forgot that that was a thing. The ice caps ambush you with their caps. All right, super ignore. Everyone looked away from Ice Cap's hat. Suddenly, Ice Cap starts a riot in rage. Look at my damn hat! Look at my hat! Oh, so do we like steal it now or what? Says the stupid Christmas deer. We just ignore it again. It seems to feed it. Better a hatter than a hater. 
Okay, so we have to ignore him twice, I guess? Huh. Interesting, 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 interesting. We're gonna figure this out. Because <laughs> I don't remember how to spare these things from earlier. You make- you look so lame and boring. Fine, I don't care. Hey, you don't need to be defined by a hat. I wanted you to see me as cool. Yo, shout out Ice. Ice doesn't mind its identity. Alright, so we steal the hat. Susie can spare, and you can compliment it. Hey, you don't need to be defined by a hat. Boom. Alright. There we go. Figured it out. Oh, sweet Jesus. Ah, there you three are. It's almost as if we didn't just talk a bit ago. Get on with it. The hell is this? Eager to continue, eh? <laughs> well, this puzzle was nicely, uh, kind of violently, but still graciously, contributed by the brilliant Dr. Alfie's. Great. You see these tiles? I was testing the new functions of this version. Why is there a white tile? I'm surprised I didn't trap myself in with the new force field trapping in the puzzle goer. But as you can see, they vary in different colors. And each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. Not as badly as the orb, but it shall still hurt. How embarrassing if you perish to them. Speaking of perishing, the old green tiles did not work well in a deadly trap. So these new ones will generate a bullet to attack. I personally supplied the bones for them, so be careful. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through them if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. It might not hurt, but you will not be able to pass. And Chris has just looked at Susie like, what the fuck? Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. Purple tiles are slippery. You will slide in the next tile. However, the slippery slope smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Pink tiles don't do anything. Step on them all you like. Finally, white tiles. They are your goal. The puzzle is completed when you step, when stepped on. <coughs> Ooh. How is that? Understand? I... Um... Oh! And if it isn't obvious, Chris shall solve this. As for you two, you can feel free to assist them with these signs. The hell do we do with these? You can keep track of Chris's smell! If Chris steps on an orange tile, raise the orange! If Chris steps on a purple tile, raise the lemon! Chris can only smell like one thing at a time, though. So only one of you needs to hold a sign at once. I understand. Wait, I'm lost. What are the rules again? Chris smells like lemons on purple, but what else? Okay, I guess I'll repeat myself. Stop wasting time. Ah, have them remember by trial and error. Then I won't waste any more time explaining. God damn it. 
Oh, but actually, one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random. When I bowl this switch, it will make a puzzle that has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. <laughs> Get ready. I will flip the switch and generate a new random NFT. It shall be worth 10 cents. What? <laughs> Seems easy enough. You think you can do it, Chris? Oh, no, 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 no. Not this time. There we go. Take as much time as you need, Chris. Because you might perish before you get close. Chris, don't try to rush through this. Chris, don't ask me for help. Because I don't remember a damn thing about how this works. Good luck, Chris. Okay. Okay, okay. So we need to go. Yep, and then up the water. Ah, it's next to a yellow tile. I'm silly. Okay, then we go here, 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 boom, like that. Now we're smelling good again. We go here. And time! It took you 39 seconds to complete the puzzle. A shame that you would not have made it on time. Alfie's wanted to put a 30 second timer on this, but we compromise with more damaging tiles. Perhaps if you listen to my instruction. All right, whatever. Your puzzles aren't any match for us, bonehead. Just give up already. Boss, I think it's about time to stop playing this game with them. No, not yet. I have one more ace up my spiky sleeve. Perhaps it may be too deadly for you. It isn't over yet. Sands? Why did that exit feel so empty? Probably because he didn't do his stupid laugh. But who cares? Feels like we're almost done with these bozos. Let's go. The machine is turned off and you can't find a power switch. The area feels so much like empty canvas, ready for art to sprout from the ground, filled with the power of sculpture. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> <Like my>, ah! <laughs> Are they... I want to see what happens if you solve that fast. So I'm actually going to save in slot three here. It's a worn down sentry station. Peek inside. Peek. There's a dog hiding in here. You try to comfort the lesser dog, but it keeps shaking. I wonder if it's intimidated by Susie. Bro is shaking. Doesn't trust you yet. Well, we probably have to beckon it. Noel hums a soothing tune. Susie is too damn intimidating.
Yeah, soft, loving dog has seen better days. Well, it's tired now. What happens if we ignore it? You stepped away from Lesser Dog and dragged Susie with you. Lesser Dog seems to be less intimidated. Ah. Yeah, we'll go for the spare. Why not? You tell Noel to comfort the Lesser Dog. There, there. We aren't going to hurt you. Lesser Dog stops shaking. Called for the lesser dog. It lowers its shield, but it isn't fully. Oh, look at that sprite. That's so sad. Gotta pet it more. Oh, the music's slowly getting faster. Heading doesn't work yet. We gotta beckon it again. You call the lesser dog. It puts his shield to the side, ready for you. This poor thing. Lesser dog is now vulnerable. <gasps> no, <laughs> kill it. I would never do that. That's mean. You proposed a game of catch with snowballs. Everyone played with a lesser dog. Lesser dog feels safe in your presence. You pet the lesser dog, it seems to really like it. Done it, boys. It is safe now. The dog looks happy to see you. Pet the dog? Pet. You can pet the dog in Delta Traveler. Someone call that Twitter account. even like follows you the writing on the sign has been scribbled out but you can barely make out what you can barely make out what is says aware of dog please pet dog <laughs> oh, the fuck Ross, say <laughs> Doobie. Rolse, what the hell did you do? Why do they look so familiar? I, uh... Zizu it. The remains of a snow papyrus. Alas, poor papyrus. An incredibly burned pile of snow. Seems like it's still smoldering. What is that sprite? <laughs> I love that. Wait. <laughs> the fucking JoJo pose. So like, why the hell are we following you while we do this? I mean, I figured we should we should so that we don't slip off when Chris finishes the puzzle. Okay, but they didn't. It's because I didn't feel like making them stay in a single room, because that's hard. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who the heck is that? I don't know. Seems pretty annoying, though. Anyway. 
<laughs> Seems like it'd be easier to just follow Chris. Fine. Chris, probably try planning where to slide next time. Also, should we mention? Nah, it seems far for the course. Let's just climb up back. <laughs> Sarah Rhino GG jump, jump scare. Uh, okay, so if we go like this, up here, like that. No, that doesn't work. Shit. Ah, I've got it. <laughs> I don't got it. Okay, take two. There we go. No! <laughs> Fuck! Shit. Okay, okay, okay. Just don't hold the dash button. Jesus Christ. All right. No! <laughs> Chris, you bastard! Not that way. All right, all right, all right. Like that. Yes. No! Okay. Take six. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah! We did it. That is certainly a way to solve it. Oh no. <laughs> I made a that terrible mistake. I think it's just faster to close the game at this point. Yeah, let's just do that. It's just faster to open the game again. <laughs> See, I was trying to do the thing because in Undertale, uh, you can slip off the... Oh! Well, maybe, it's, maybe it was all good in the end because we got to see this. Wait, you're right, what the hell? Hey, it's me. Wow, this is pretty cute. This is what, Susie? Uh, it's cool. Yeah. Susie? Let's just go. <laughs> Pet dog. I guess it's a good thing we went back, huh? Okay. We do this again. Yeah, so you can fall off that part right here in Undertale and it'll take you down to this room. That's what I was trying to do. Yo, it's Blue Sands. What's up? So, has the trap's been going? It's been real annoying. He's just been making Chris do all of them. Sounds about right. What about all the effort Papyrus has been putting in? He's been trying to kill us. Nah, no way. He never heard a fly. Or at least, he went in unprovoked. Then why does he force us to do dangerous puzzles? He thinks it's not just him. Probably would be a good idea to put into perspective what's going on. Hmm. What's up, sir? Alright, we got the manly bandana. The permisicle. Bicycle. Cinnamon bun. <laughs> Holy shit, I'm rich. <laughs> mm. 
There isn't much that I can really tell you about me right now. For all intents and purposes, I'm just the convenience store guy. Have you heard of the multiverse before? It's something that sounds really sci-fi, but it's literally happening around us right now. In fact, it's something I've studied pretty extensively ever since coming here. Well, when I came to the where I live, I mean. Uh, anyway, because of the opportunity of choice and variation, there are multiple ways that events can play out in the different worlds we see or their impacts. They're known as alternate universes. If two of these universes are just slightly different, but are otherwise similar, then I would call those two alternate timelines. In the case of this place, I'd say it's an alternate timeline to the universe I live in. It's, uh, obviously in a pretty bad state. And I'm sure I don't have to tell you that clearly affected the m the me that lives here. Huh? Why would the me from here be so violent? Uh, we probably shouldn't talk about that right now. Okay, I think actually I've read all this dialogue. It was in the previous part. She's a bit of a dork, really, in anime and cartoons. Only all a bit dorky. No way you'd think she was a... Now why you'd think she was a guy is beyond me. That'd be like me assuming your gender, Chris. It's pretty rude. Unless you were referring to an older royal scientist. Which is an unsolved case. I don't know much about previous positions other than they were responsible for making the core. Though at this point, no one cares about who made the core. It's just that it's being maintained. It's a source of power after all. Hello, friend. Gift tro- oh my god. Oh, it's in reverse. All of the- all of the gifts are, are, are white because they're not part of the monster. UNOL removed the googly eyes, haphazardly blocking Giftrot's vision. I can see! UNOL removed the family photo of Snowy and his father. <laughs> what? Well, remove the striped cane that says I can use this tiny cane to walk on it. Noel pockets the cane. <laughs> what? I can see. I can fight. <laughs> you remove some actual barbed wire. Noel heals your wound. Susie spared the enemies. Bro had barbed wire on him. Please, protect me from the teenagers. You know that we're also teenagers, right? Yeah, but you're the good ones. <laughs> you're one of the good ones! <laughs> In the distance, you can see a small house below, much like the bunny house. You're filled with the power of homely chasms. I wonder if Dolph's gonna come out of that one. Oh, there's no lights. That shit is empty. There ain't nobody in it. <laughs> there's a door in here. It's locked. Damn, now I want to know what's in here. I wonder if we can find a key somewhere. All right. Boys, you know what must be done. Surely. Hey! There he is! Glide! You know well, clap for Glide! Glide sucks up your praise like a vacuum cleaner. How did he even do that? Okay, I rule, I admit it! Holy, what the huh? Huh? <gasps> oh no! No, it can't be! Finally. That egotistical asswipe is finally dead. And what's this? A human? Everything's falling into place. With a human soul captured, everyone will finally give me the respect I deserve. It's time to die, human! What the fuck is this? 
Who gave Jerry the Murasama? <laughs> you all tried to ditch Jerry, but it appeared everywhere you looked. Trying to escape, huh? Not the first time this happened to me. I won't let myself get ditched again. Now fight me, cowards. You all pretended to praise Jerry's abilities. Jerry saw them as insincere and nothing happened. Holy, okay, this is mean. This is a mean bullet patterns. Okay, we need a little bit of healing. Yellow? Wait, what? Press Z and sh to shoot when yellow. Hold and release Z to fire a big shot. You tried reflecting upon Jerry's actions, but nothing seemed to resonate. Susie called Jerry stupid. Jerry scoffs at her. Noel tried to asking about Jerry, but Jerry ignored her. Holy shit. Jerry stands unwavering. It definitely needs to use the bathroom right now. What the fuck, dude? No way this is a real thing. Oh! Okay, it can use blue mode too? Dude, apparently Jerry was out here studying the blade. Oh, I see. It's like a late jump. Jerry readies itself. It's challenging, do I wonder. You and Susie express your flabbergasment with what just happened. The hell are you doing, dude? This wasn't your fight to fight. Shut up. You know nothing. That stupid, ego-written asshole contributed nothing to society, and yet he's considered one of the remaining highlights of modern Snowden? Get out of here with that garbage. What's he doing? Okay, he's got a fan attack. Holy shit, what is this? Ah! He's too powerful, Jet. You and Susie tried thinking of something to berate Jerry with, but nothing came to mind. This attack is mean. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, I need you alive. Oh my goodness, gravy. Jerry, stop it, please! I love the the sur the turbo fire you get. Okay. What the fuck? Huh? Whoa! Yeet! <laughs> Ouch. 
<laughs> Smells like Jerry. Okay, that was a waste of a turn. Uh, dude! He's too powerful! Okay, I think I need to inquire next. Noel inquired about Jerry's motivations. So what if he didn't do anything important? Shouldn't it be a good thing that you have something like that? In a place like this? No! Why should a useless piece of shit get respected by the sane people here when he's done nothing to help us escape this prison? Like, I don't know. Like I've been trying to do? Like right now? Oh my god, that's a lot of projectiles. Oh, you can fire charge shots really fast in this game. Thought stirs within your mind. So maybe we reflect now. And, uh, heal up. Poor Susie. You wonder if it matters why Jerry is respected. Jerry seems willing to further elaborate. And besides, I don't know about you, but I'm kind of a tough guy. I've got a lot of EXP and a high love, so people should be respecting me. You know. So they don't die. But they don't. No one does. Holy fucking god. Don't have healing items. Okay, this is gonna be difficult. I just gotta survive. <laughs> Objective survive. Don't do it. I... <laughs> he did it. <laughs> Alright, run it back, run it back, run it back, run it back. Now I'm expecting that, so everything will be fine. I can't fucking believe you guys put this in the game. <laughs> okay, uh, what was it? It was challenge first? Yeah. Okay, he starts off slower, so... I made a, I made a mistake, boys. He's he's pissed. He's fuming. Susie criticized Jerry's mindset. That's so stupid. No one's gonna like you if you're just a big mean brute. Jerry became enraged. His attack. Uh, shut up! Shut your fucking mouth, asshole! You don't get it. It's a bad word, Jerry. You should be saying that. You and Susie bash Jerry. Don't get it. Do you know who you're talking to, loser? The hell even is your goal? Because being called Big Bully is not fun. Don't call me a loser, loser. I'm fucking tired of hearing that. I'm kind of scared. What's his damage output going to be now that, I, now that I've enraged him, I wonder?
Whew. You and Susie press Jerry on this point. Says the one trying to steal enemies. Is that what it's all about, being a loser? Because that's, uh, pretty pathetic. Well, what am I supposed to do? Keep being left behind? It's either catch up or become part of the dust. Or as that one skeleton keeps saying, kill or be killed. Reflect on when Susie saved you from King's Wrath. I forget this happens after chapter one. Jerry looks confused. What? Do you know where that kind of naivety can get you here? Ow! Ow! Hit me for my whole fucking life savings, dog. No, well inquired about Jerry's mindset. Everything happens for a reason, right? Why should you keep be being another killer among many? Won't that just make more killers? But, but it's always been this way. Jerry, stop. I have kids. Susie looks annoyed with Jerry's logic. Thank God. It means I can heal. <laughs> Screw the status quo. Making a good change on the world actually rocks really hard. Honestly, it'd probably get you a lot more respect than not. I... I don't know. Look at He's already pissed. I might as well keep... If you kill a killer, the amount of killers in the world stays the same. Kill two killers. What? <laughs> kill two. Seems like Jerry's conflicted. Jerry's having second thoughts. Uh, I wonder if we praise him. You all encouraged to Jerry to take a new direction with his life. Jerry seems fully convinced. Well, uh, give me a moment. Jerry cannot bring itself to swing its sword. Ditch him now. <laughs> okay, will be nice. I've made up my mind. You showed me a better future. I won't kill you, human. In fact, I think I owe you something. No, not the sword. I need it to survive. But... This bandana that I've been wearing possesses a special power that has let me build more power in battle. I probably don't need this thing anymore. My swordsmanship has gotten a lot more epic. So take it. The blood bandana. So I thought about how I could turn my life around, but I think you guys are the perfect model for how I could do that. So, I think I'm going to be the nicest guy to ever grace this place. Everyone's going to get a little bit of help from me. Uh, what about the whale guy you just killed? What they don't know won't hurt them. Fair point. Well, I'm off to make a difference on the world. See ya. He's going to annoy the hell out of everyone, isn't he? I'm sure someone will appreciate the help. And if no one does? Well, he offered that bandana to us, right? I think that's worth something. I guess. Let's just get going. 
Bright red bandana that gives off the essence of blood. Wearing this bandana will increase the range. Bullets increase tension. <laughs> Don't mind me. Is the heart had more? Oh, it's eight. I don't really need that. <laughs> not not in this route, anyway. In the distance, blah, 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 blah. Okay, wait, who's this? Sup? Oh, me, oh my, did I miss him? Yep, just bolted out of here. Oh, darn, I'm such a big fan of Jerry. He's so cool, I wish I could meet him someday. Jerry fangirl? All right. Yeah, let me grab another healing item, actually, just in case. We'll grab another bicycle. Uh, and let me put this bandana away. This looks good. <laughs> I like that I still have this. <laughs> you know, just in case. <laughs> you never know when it might be useful. <laughs> This is a creature we accidentally made when making a section icon for this. Oh. A snow pop that was stabbed. You try to take the spear, but the handle is too slippery. A snow pop in these trying times? Thankfully, a standard snow pop. A scorched snow pop. You can think of a few ways this would have happened. None involved the dog. This is ridiculous. The big guy from the guard won't let me by because they're on high alert. They think there's a human rummaging around here. Uh oh, I wonder why they think that. Right? I swear these dogs are set up by anything. Especially ever since the royal scientist got involved. Wait, Alfie's? Noelle, if you know her, can you tell her to stop training the dogs to be killers? She ain't part of the guard, and I'm not looking to be oppressed. The tiny dog has. The inside is covered by cobwebs. So it could be used a little house cleaning. Woof. The war crimes against snow puffs continue. Yet another punished snow puff. You wonder if you're in a training ground. You wonder if you're next. It's just a rock. <gasps> oh, jump scare. A gang of ice underscore caps. What? Emerged from the snow puff. They're, they're, they're ice. They're ice caps. That's true. Oh, the pink ribbon. Yes! Yes! It's so beautiful, chat. The power! The power! We've never been so back. No, I didn't want to ignore. Fuck, that's a wasted turn. We are so Barack. This one, X ignore. This is never getting unequipped. <laughs> Somebody will have this item equipped at all times. And I will probably accidentally call it the pink ribbon from time to time because that's what it is. Even though it's the blood bandana, it's way cooler. Now we can start stealing. Ta -da -da. Ta -da -da. 
a long spare sequence. Holy. Holy shit. Oh yeah, that took a while. Halt! State your business. Um, why don't you move out of the way? This area is on lockdown. A human has been sighted in the forest and we cannot allow it to get past Snowden. Protocol 7. Why are you like this? Sarah, why? Why would you do this? Why would you do this to me? <laughs> Any human sightings must be dealt with immediately. Its soul must be taken at all costs. What the hell did humans even do to you people? You act like they trapped you down here to starve or something. Perhaps you are a group of human sympathizers. I have no tolerance for scum like you. I will deal with you personally. All right, punk, it's on. Greater dog blocks the way. Give up and die. Whoa, 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 he's fast as fuck, boys. He has great speed. Everyone frantically told Greater Dog to look behind itself. Seems to be a bit distracted. Okay. This you snuck behind Greater Dog and removed its spiked collar. But you couldn't reach the communicator from there. I shall slay you, human scum. Alright, so you gotta keep it bouncing. You and Susie tried snatching Greater Dog's communicator, but failed. It stabs both of you. Okay. So now it's distracted, so now we can probably snatch it. Sebastian, stop this. <laughs> Yo, it's the evil Toby Fox. Uh, Not that one. Ah, that's cool. Yoink, mine now. You call for the greater dog. Give me a little guy. Greater dog perks up its ears. So were the, was the poor thing being like controlled through the, the shot collar? Hey.
Susie barks at Greater Dog. <laughs> I'm just imagining those two barking at each other. Who's a good boy? Without its harness holding its back, Greater Dog leaps into your lap, completely disregarding that it was trained to kill. Goodness me, only y'all could do something like that. Maybe the dogs will stop arguing now that he isn't cold and stern anymore. Anyway, what's important is the way isn't blocked. I really need to get to my shop. See ya. <laughs> Gotta be close to getting to the end of the forest by now. All these dogs and enemies are getting boring. And there's still whatever the hell Papyrus has left. I'm sure it'll be fine. Chris has been doing very well against this puzzles. You sure? He seemed pretty desperate last time. Bet he's set, up to, bet he's set to kill us quickly. I don't think so. He's so proud of himself that I doubt he'd sink that low. We'll see. The hell is with the weird looks. It's literally just a rock. Susie, it's not just that. What? Wait. Okay, fine. It's just a random statue. Now let's go. Why can't you just understand that? You know what'll happen if the bridge is destroyed. Yes, but you could always. That ain't a solution, you idiot. I don't care what Sans told you. Sorry to ask again, but can y'all take care of these two for me? I need my damn supplies. Well, we already have business to attend to, so... I don't consider this a favor. Perfect! Then let us stop wasting time! Behold, the gauntlet of deadly terror! Oh, fuck! The dog! The anti-dog! When I say the word, it will fully activate it! Yo, okay, I got Sebastian Wolf. I hate you guys. <laughs> when I say the word, it will fully activate! Cannons will fire! Spikes will swing! Blades will slice! Each part will swing violently up and down. Only at the tiniest chance of victory it will remain. Wait, this is kind of cool, actually. Susie! Hey, if the other two won't do it, then. Susie, no! Papyrus, this isn't very fair. This feels no different than what Sans would do. It isn't puzzling, yet deadly. It's just deadly. So, you are fine with a deadly puzzle? Well, at least we have a chance to get it right. Boss, don't listen to him. This challenge is perfect. No, no, I see their point. This is an unrefined approach. It's way too overkill. I think it would be better if they had to walk a rope and dodge the attacks individually. At least, that's a good timing challenge. But this is too direct. Away it goes. I can't find the controls. I figured you'd back down. Sans, did you really just... Papyrus, you forgot the one thing I told you to value above all else. And that is... This world is kill or be killed. What the... Chris, stand back. Susie, the bridge is too narrow. You'll hit Chris. Damn it. Chris, I've got an idea. Grab him and slam him on the ground. Wait, Susie, won't that just... Just do it! Yeesh! I was right behind you. You know you could have just... I'm about to... Whoa! Whee! Not the deadly gauntlet of deadly terror! Oh fuck, I don't have enough help for this shit. <laughs> what the? No! No, stop! Please! I wasn't ready for Toho! Okay, we're good.
Here we go. They're awake. Careful where you're throwing people next time, Chris. <laughs> Says you, Susie. You were the one who ran into me and made me fall. Hey! Sorry. It's okay. Say, what happened to Sans? I'm over here. Huh? You came back for more? You come back for more? Nah, look over the big old mound. Hey, how was the... I can't play any more of that because it will get DMCA'd. Good God. Oh! Not that Sans! The one that bounced down with us. Oh shoot, you're right. God, I'm really getting sick of this crazy place. Can we just find a gray door and go back to, you know, the nicer underground place we were in? That Sans better not show his ugly mug around us again. Oh, my ugly mug? Not you! Let's just go. Looks like this giant pile of snow broke your fall. Strand of rope. Looks like one of the ends was cut off. No escape, huh? Oh, almost kind of looks like you can squeeze through here. Nope, nothing new. Am I still at one HP? I <laughs> There's still one fucking health. Hey, um, I think I saw my doppelganger for a split second. I don't think he saw me, but I wouldn't be surprised if he attacked you guys again. So, uh, I guess I could offer you guys a discount. My treat. I, um, thanks? Oh, also, maybe go in with an ice weapon on hand. I feel like it'd be important to resolving things well. Do I have one? I do. Sick. Well, if I'm fighting Sans, then, uh... Give me some of those buns. Ah, thank God. Holiday residence. Oh, no. What? Oh, hey, it's your place. It's pretty run down, huh? Wait, is that? Oh, hey, look. A gray door. Huh. Didn't expect to find one of these here. That's convenient. We might as well hop inside. But what if we end up someplace crazier? I mean, it's not like we have a way out from here. Unless you want to try climbing the cliff. I guess you're right. Let's go. Oh, please, Susie. You think I'm not paying attention? How did you... Eh. I remember this little orphan from the city. She looked a lot like you. Same name, too. It was the most cathartic kill I've done. You... She had so much life in her eyes when I saw her. And it was beautiful seeing the lights go out. It was the most alive I'd felt in so long. And I'm about to relive it all over again. 
Chris. Damn kids. I'll kill all of y'all. You fucking psycho. You're really gonna go around... Uh, you're really gonna go around gloating about killing children. Yeah. <laughs> this world is kill or be killed. And to be honest... You three have had this coming for a long time. Shut up. I don't care what you have to say anymore. You're going down. So... You three are ganging up on me. <laughs> Some heroes you are. To think you ruined my life. And came back to ruin it again. <laughs> You're gonna get what you deserve. And me? I'm gonna have a great time! Oh shit! <laughs> Undertale fan game moment. You feel like you're gonna have a bad time. You, Susie, and Noel dis distract Sans by being very obnoxious. Sans can't seem to concentrate last three turns. Okay. Sans gazes into your soul. You know. Let's talk. You try to talk to Sans. Shut the hell up, Chris. Just lay on the ground and let me rip you apart. Seems like talking won't do any good. You and your damn determination. All living things lose the will to live at some point. For you, that point is now. Uh, L plus ratio, my dude. And scum are all the same. Knowing exactly what to do, like you're playing God or something. All you humans deserve to die at the hands of monster kind. Double jump is very useful. Sans regains his focus. That's not good. Oh, hey, it's this attack. You know the original Sans fight was going to have a vertical bone attack at some point? is weird. Heck. Why he purple? Oh god. This is bad. Bad, 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 bad. Come on, baby. Okay, <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to attack him. <laughs> 
you know, like you do in Undertale. I'm just so fucking low on HP, dude. Yes, give me more TP. Slurp that good shit up. We're doing it, boys. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're getting it done. Okay, Red Buster, and then uh, easy unicycle on Susie. Missed. Ah, shit. Okay, don't fall. I don't want to know how the fall was, Sans. How was the fall? Oh, right. I have to distract him. Duh. Kind of forgot about that part. a lot of HP. Holy shit. When did Sans get so swole? Purple threw me for a loop until I realized my battle box was also purple, and I realized it's probably just supposed to be a white cube. <laughs> like a block of the menu. I'm well on TP. I need a defend turn. Getting what does what? Jeez.
Really resisting the the Megalovania urge on this one. No focus, you are distracted. Eat this, uh, hold this L. I've been waiting for this moment for a long time to finally get my revenge on humanity and rid this world of its problems once and for all. Ah! Oh no! The evil one. You just happened to end up here? Uh, he said, but of all the potential timelines, you three just happened to end up here? Eh, I doubt it. And the worst part? The look on your face and how confused you seem. You're completely oblivious to what you did to me. What a fucking insult. God, I... Jesus. My brain is off. Okay, uh... I'll rip that goddamn soul out of your cold, dead body. And you'll feel the wrath of that so-called determination that cost me my life. Oh, why'd I do that? Ah, uh, taking stupid hits. Yeah, we should just, I just need TP right now. Okay, now we got a dual heal. I guess distract because we'll be red bustering next turn. Or maybe that doesn't work the way I think it does. <laughs> We're gaming, boys. We're gaming. We're getting this. I ain't dying. Thanks for chumps. I just got TP off of that. <laughs> we'll take that. We will take that. Uh, 
Aha. All right, that's a consistent method to dodge that. Maximum. We are fully healed up. Life is good. Fully healed up, max TP. Whew. All right, let's get this shit. I'm just playing it extra super safe. Because <laughs> I don't want to die. Dying's for chumps. Buster, uh, let me defend. Never give up, do you? I'm a busy guy. Places to be, people to kill. Let's get this over with. a lot of gastro blasters. <laughs> Give me your soul. Give it to me. I won't be denied again. I will. I will. I I'll kill. I... I will. You... little... When I get my hands on you, you'll look just like... Chris, I'm going to be honest. I was this close to killing him myself. I don't think he deserves mercy. I wish I could have been able to at least talk to him. I feel this resentment is more than he lets on. No. People like that aren't willing to give mercy. Their grudge goes beyond whatever the hell they show. They would rather shatter your heart or threaten to throw you off a roof. What? Well, that's oddly specific. What would, what would cause her to bring that up? And besides, he killed me. He gloated about killing me. And I... She was just a kid. I think that alone would be grounds to kill him. Then what does that mean for our Sans? I... 
Ugh, whatever. Let's just get out of here. I don't want to think about this anymore. Papyrus, you don't understand. Aight, asshole, I'm killing you myself. Wait! Stop! Papyrus? Yes, I didn't die. A miracle, I grabbed the ledge after being kicked. But, I wasn't kicked for no reason, I imagine. Sans, I know that you're asleep. The first time you slept in a long, long time. But the way you've been acting is so unlike the brother I grew up, grew up with. The one that would play terrible jokes. The one who valued his friends and memories. I know that you were very reserved even in the past. But ever since we arrived here in Snowden, I watched as you changed into this cold, jaded killer. You began your murderous spree. You pushed me to seek revenge on the humans. You bashed my head in for refusing to finish off. Sans? Damn, look at- Chris is in deep contemplation up there. I cannot help but think. Do you even care about me anymore? Perhaps we'll see if I become one with the snow or not. I owe all of you an apology. None of you deserved any of this. Especially you, Chris. My arrogance and doubt truly blinded me. I guess... Papyrus, I'm so sorry. Do not apologize, Miss Noel. This is not your burden to carry. Starting today, I turn over a new leaf. I want to start making a positive mark on the world. And that starts with ceasing my goals of becoming a royal guardsman. As cool as the title is, it is written in blood and continues to grow worse by the day. Instead, I aim to help those in need. I know many people around here need that kind of help. Especially with how cold the underground is. I do hope that the others will accept my change. I'm sure you'll do well, Papyrus. Thank you. Take care, you three. Took him that long to say sorry. Susie, I think we should go. Right. Yeah. I wonder why they haven't woken up. I know, right? They're all out cold. I wonder who will wake up first. Well, look at that timing. Hey, are you feeling all right? What's with that look? You look like you've seen a ghost. Well, whatever. My name's Des, and this is my sister, Noelle. Hi there. What's your name? Chris? Where have I heard that name before? Well, nice to meet you anyway. Noelle, can you call mom and see when we need to head back? Okay. Say, Chris, I've got a weird question for you. Are you a human? Yes? Haha, <laughs> so humans are time travelers. Huh? Oh, it's a rumor I heard going around. That Alfie's his old assistant tried proving humans have time powers. Whoever that assistant even is, but I guess that's rumors. Though, I guess that doesn't explain the, uh... The person that looks like older Noel. Uh, anyway. Des, Mom wants us to head home right now. Wait, why? Doesn't she go to work in a couple hours? Well, the Royal Guard is gonna go human hunting soon. They think a human was spotted leaving the ruins earlier. And I thought they didn't know what humans look like. Let me go check on the two upstairs real quick before we go. Are we gonna ride on the boat? Well, if we have to go home right now, then yeah. Yay! Okay, be right back. Hey, Chris. What were you and Des talking about? Guitar. 
Really? She doesn't really play guitar anymore. She's really good, but she stopped playing as much after our dad fell down. So, I bet you're lying. Okay, let's get out of here, Noel. Uh, probably don't talk to the other deer. Why? No reason. Now let's go. Oh, um, see ya, Chris. Aw, but I wanted to meet them. Oh well. Bye-bye, Chris. Until we meet again. Chris, what the hell is going on? Why are we back in that rabbit house? Speaking of deja vu... Hey, wake up! Uh, look at this, Noel. What are you talking about? What the heck? Is that me? It's like looking into a strange mirror. Uh, oh, I have to go. Um, bye bye me. So I guess that was the you from this world. She looks exactly like me when I was a kid. It was like looking into a living family photo. That's a weird way to put it. Then again, if the me here is also a kid, then, uh, I'd also feel weird. But, uh, there was another deer talking about us. The hell were you even talking about, Chris? Des? Who? I, um, never mind. Yeah, what did you talk about, Chris? The Royal Guard is gonna hunt us down because you were human? I thought we left the crazy dimension. Wait, that lines up with what your mom said. So I guess we do keep an eye out. What? Chris's mom is in this world, too. She was like, the monsters here are dangerous. They aren't, but I guess we've got some hunters to worry about. Though I feel we have some time to chill for a bit. Your choice, Chris. Well, they already look pretty comfy, Susie. Why don't we chill someplace that isn't in here? Greetings! I have a wonderful gift for you. For only the most responsible of beings in the vicinity. Why do you have this? <laughs> it's a billboard. There are several papers tacked to it. There appears to be a huge image of a sleepy fox here. It's covered in a bunch- it's covering a bunch of papers. Who the heck put this picture up here? It's kind of cute. The hell is even underneath? Nah, it's not worth looking into. How kind of those two to bring you three here. I hope you're feeling better. Say, who exactly were the two that brought us here? Oh, they're Rudy's kids. They actually used to live here in Snowden, but that was before he fell down one day. They moved to the city afterwards. It was very tragic, but they seem to have found their footing again. What does fallen down mean? Well, thank you for letting us stay, I guess. My pleasure. Ah, we're back in, uh, Undertale Snowden. Welcome to Snowden Town. <laughs> my, oh my, as much as I love working on puzzles, it can get quite exhausting. Case in point, polishing this cannon is very boring. Say, if you can bring me something interesting, I may do something interesting in return. Like... Like a free reward. Everyone loves free rewards, right? Well, it could be yours for one impressed papyrus. Though it is your choice. A big dangerous cannon blocks the way. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Shit! There isn't much I can really tell you about me right now. For all intents and purposes, I'm just the convenience store guy. Why am I working a random odd job? I'm covering for the shop owner, QC. I owe her for, uh, Papyrus uh, getting into some trouble. It's fine, though. Pay's pretty good. But I get the odd feeling I'm forgetting to do something. Something, something, calibrating my puzzles. Eh, whatever. Funnily enough, we're at the end of the forest. 
Past town is where we enter the marsh. It's called Waterfall. Probably because all the waterfalls. I hear the Royal Guard head around there is... I hear the Royal Guard head is doing some searching around there. Keep an eye out for her. Looks like you guys took care of evil me. Went about as well as it could have. Because I don't know if the uh, other option would be pretty. Or even satisfy the justice itch. But who can really say? What's been done's done. Hmm. I get this weird feeling that I'm about to see something disturbing later. Like someone walking their little brother on a leash. What? Eh, I just woke up. Forget what I said. Do you think Santa will ever deliver my wish? What would that be? My sister's return? She had fallen down one day and a doctor healed her to health. But she never came back and the doctor won't respond to our calls. I'm so sorry. I'm sure you'll meet her again someday. Really down her way to introduce yourself. That's why I rarely go out anymore. Who's this? Yo, you guys tourists or something? Uh, I guess? I'm surprised Undyne let you through. She didn't let me go anywhere near Waterfall earlier. My little s my little sibling loves Undyne, but they aren't awake yet. <laughs> Undyne? Huh? The boat? Oh yeah, my bad. I guess you're fine to stick around. Just don't follow me. Yeah, because you're right here. Huh? What does that mean? I, I didn't mean it in a bad way. What? Which one of you did this? Oh, uh, it's because my file name is Shay. Ah, ah, it's tied to your name, yeah. Aren't you kids a little too young to be up this early? <laughs> Isn't it a little too early to be getting drunk? Hey, we all cope with life differently. You can get stupidly early and I eat fries and dream about hot guys. <laughs> they really made it play Alligator Jones. Looks like someone left a coin in the jukebox and forgot to choose a new song. Change the song? No. Yes, please. What have you done? Oh, Jesus Christ. That's so good. I had absolutely no idea that Grillby had, Grillby's had a breakfast menu. It's actually not half bad. Not super greasy either. Grillb said that he'd offer you some water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Seems about right. Mike? So the fish lady from the guard came to tell the rest of them about a human hunt. And one of them got so excited that their necks started growing in size. They fled the place, taking the chair with them. I wonder how Grizzlies deals with these guys. Why do the three of you smell familiar? I've never even met you before. Um, you know what? I don't even have an answer for this. Sorry. I wonder if the big guy even knows that they were tasked with hunting a human. He always sleeps in, so I doubt it, unless he's that desperate. She's... Yeah, the head of the Royal Guard. Everyone knows her. Could be less cryptic, asshole. A human hunt this early of all times is ridiculous. There hasn't been a human sighted down here in forever. Most monsters have no clue what they look like. Then how could they tell? Dr. Alphys has studied a lot about humanity. I think if there's anyone we can trust about this, it's Alphys. It's always so nice visiting Snowden Town. The people here are so friendly. Yo, Froster Mitt! I just wish it wasn't so far from home. Yo! Undertale Yellow Dub! Let's go! All the fan games are starting to cross over with each other now. Jester? No, I'm what some may call a demon. Just because I smile all the time doesn't mean I'm a clown. It even haunts me in my dreams. Being called Jevil 2 by someone named... Something... Coisicle <laughs> 3. I forgot what their first name was. Something with a G. I don't know, but it keeps showing up and punching me in the face. <laughs> oh, that's good. 
Oh, I wonder if... Hey, the camera's here! Nice. Hello there, young travelers. Would you not like a new flavor? What's the advice? I hear there's a strange scientist near the library. He looks eerily similar to one of the residents here. Maybe he has the keys. Oh. I'm not like the other mole that's offering people flavors. I actually work at the core. Came by today to make sure Ice Wolf is still throwing ice to cool the core. And yep, certainly is. I sure love puzzle. Why is Goku there? Can I speak to Ga- Wait a second. Is this the wrong number? Oh, it's the wrong number, wrong number song. We're very, very sorry that we got it wrong. It's the wrong number, the wrong number song. We're very, very sorry that we got it wrong. Oh, it's the wrong number, the wrong number song. We're very, very sorry that we got it wrong. What a fun song. Fun. The hell was a G? And why do they have Chris's number? Maybe it's from this world. Hmm. Then why is Chris able to call their mom from here? Good point, Susie. Hello, Chris. Um, why is it so windy where you are? It isn't even that breezy today. Where even are you? In a snowy forest, underground, traveling dimensions? Chris, please stay safe. Call me back, too. Ah, the sounds of a fresh knock in the morning. It's music to my ears. <laughs> Why was Goku there? <laughs> what the? Semi hypercube jump scare? Where the hell am I? I was watching my favorite frog streamer and then a gray door replaced my closet. <laughs> when I went inside, I showed up here. <laughs> Tell me about it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, is that, is that inverted fate papyrus? Oh, hello there. Are you perhaps dimension traveling like I am? How did you know? I can tell my frisks from my caras. And I can tell that you are. Uh, what's your name? Uh, not frisk or cara. Name's Susie, and this is Chris and Noel. And you're papyrus, right? Quite the delta traveling trio, aren't you? <laughs> Roll credits. <laughs> and what a familiar name. I mean, we kind of got caught up in this. We're just trying to get home. So you got here on your own? Actually, no. I walked through a gray door and ended up here. A strange alternate version of my own world. But I'm trying to lay low, as to not cause issues. Like, anything that may happen when finding myself. Did we dodge a bullet? But I have grown quite bored sitting here. This world's counterpart of me is still quite active, and I'm waiting for him to go on his way. So, would you three like to play Uno? I have some pri- I'm sorry? Why is it just Chris again? Wonderful! Want to change the music before starting? Uno, dude. Uh. All right, blue eight. <laughs> oh, house rules. No, not house rules. I've never played with those. All right, what do I got? All right, I got a green seven. I've never played with challenge. Oh, okay. Back to my turn. Uh, we'll go wild card. 
blue. Do I have a four? Ooh, I don't. Plus four, baby. All right, uh, we'll go blue one. Keep it blue, baby. Fuck you, dick. All right, I can play that. Yes, keep it blue, baby. Let's go. No, I didn't say you were fast enough. <laughs> Fuck. Also, did somebody say Uno dickhead? I thought I saw that. <laughs> uh, the draw. Oh, do I have an eight? No, I don't. Keep drawing, baby. Okay, uh, well, it's red now. I got a whole lot of fucking nothing, bro. Do I have a... No, I don't have any... No! I'm getting rolled! Oh shit. Alright, alright. Papyrus is quick on that Uno. Oh no, guys. Papyrus has one card left! And I don't have anything to play! <laughs> A lot for this. Stop! No! I can't play on top of fucking yellow! You prick! Dork, your OC is being mad, is being mean to me. Well, guys, I think we're, I think we lost this one. Ha! Oh, you lost. Well, better luck next time. Fuck you. Welcome to the library. You mean library? No, that's a misspelling. What? I was lied to? Please keep your voice down. The school system has failed us. <laughs> That's outstanding. <laughs> How did this happen? Um, the frog got a super rare event on their stream, and then I noticed it. But I can't say for sure it's even related. <laughs> it fucking... <laughs> it's literally just you. The door is locked. Why is Mew Mew up there? Mew Mew, what you doing up there, girl? Box layer papyrus. Okay, so is Sans popular or does he not check his mail? The door is locked. This looks eerily like Sans's house back home. Yeah, that's really weird. Because Chris's mom's house was nothing like it back home. You were at Chris's house? Their mom invited me in. Shush. You're too big to enter the tunnel. <laughs> that's good. seems to be making the sound of rushing water. Is it like a water flower or something? Is it like a water flower or something? Hey, it copied me. I think I know what this is. 
It's called an echo flower. They grow in marsh areas, and I think they're adverse to sunlight? So they're pretty rare in our world. They're infamous for constantly repeating any sound it hears. It's really freaky. Well, it's a good thing we don't live anywhere near a swamp. <laughs> well, it's a good thing we don't live anywhere in a swamp. Still so creepy. Power of waking up early. There's a camera behind the waterfall. What the fucking... What are you doing here? Why is there a, a mole here? Tutu! There's an old dusty tutu laying here. Why the hell is this piece of crap so dusty? Did someone die in it or something? Susie, you know that dust is a natural thing that happens, right? Yeah. Death is natural. So is normal everyday dust. Just... Actually, good point. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder what happened to the human wearing this. Men's 10, oh well. Over my 10. <laughs> the Chujin in the corner. <laughs> X is blessed! This is ridiculous. The Royal Guard is going to bring back the rock puzzle that used to be here. Can she just realize that her idea for a rock fall is a terrible idea? It ruins the scenery. Oh my god, look at Chris's eye. Oh, that's spooky. SGS time, true. Wait a minute. Um, what? Does anyone hear that clanking? No, the hell are you? Shh, it's coming from above us. Papyrus, Alfie has alerted me to the human that was spotted west of Snowden. There were two other monsters following it around as well. I'm sending out the rest of the Royal Guard to secure the area. Yeah, I know you have puzzles set up. Just make sure that you were, or one of the others catch it. Sure, we can catch its two monster pals too. Seems treasonous. See ya. Of course it's Alfie's who ratted on us. Is that Officer Undyne? Wait. The cops are after us? Susie, keep your voice down. The cops are after you, huh? I bet you two are also harboring a human, too. I, um... Now, I want you two to very carefully move the human out of the kelp. Yeah, or what? Or else I'll go in there and rip out its soul myself. Yeah, well, uh... We are getting out of here. Susie, wait! Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, I think we're safe. Shoot, I dropped Chris and Noel. Really hope the cops didn't kill him. Wait, what the hell is that? Oh, god damn it. <laughs> it's good comedic timing. Hey, Chris. Yeah, it's another goddamn door. I really don't want to go in another one of these things. I don't know if we're going to be safe in here. What do you think? Yeah, it'd probably be better if we didn't make things worse. You know, universe destabilization and all. But then what the hell do we do? I think I found something. What? There's a weird me- <laughs> No bitches? <laughs> no Christmas? <laughs>
There's a weird message on this telescope. I think there's a hidden door at the end of the hall. Well, solving puzzle instead of Chris? Shocker. Hey! Well, we found another way out. Let's get going. Damn it, we're cornered. You two, step away from the human. Human, either surrender your soul now, or I'll rip it out of your chest. <laughs> As if you can take on the... Like this? Huh. I, um... I guess? Quick question then. If I were to jump through this door into another world, a world which might not even have a way to come back, would you still chase me? Well? Chris, what the hell are you doing? Well, if I can't get back here with the soul, there wouldn't be a point. Thought so. See ya. Chris, wait! Yeah! <laughs> Link to the past, baby! Let's go! That was really good. I enjoyed that a lot. <laughs> I think it was my favorite of the segments so far. Wow, I know all of these people. That's crazy. A sick ass werewolf. I love everybody's little sprites. They're so good. Yo, I hope Beethoven is fucking blows up. Why isn't he there? Yeah! <laughs> Hate that guy. <laughs> In Ruins, based on Undertale by Toby Fox. Duh. Section 2. Oh, Mother. Based on Earthbound Mother 2 by... Not Nintendo. They didn't do anything. Shh. Don't, don't, don't wake the... Don't wake the beast. Special thanks. LVK, Unitel, Monster Dusko, Blaster... Toby Fox, Timmy Chang. Hey, that guys, guys, that's what's up? Hey, Goku. <laughs> Yo, why is that censored? Chris Ice Slide Poses, Sister Kit Design, Froster Mitt, Undertale Yellow. Yeah. Writing this assuming everyone will think that Section 3 is lame because it's based on my interpretation of Underfell. I hope you liked it in spite of that, though. No! I like your Underfell interpretation. It's good. 